Okay, I hope my face is visible. And it's mostly because I just want to wear my cap forward. <clears throat> Hello individuals. Uh, today is Pride. Um, so I decided that I would make a video and stop making so many excuses to not make a video on Sunday today um, and talk a little bit more about what that might mean. Um, and very briefly, before I get into the actual point of this video, um, so I'm not proud of being trans whatsoever, so pride for me has nothing to do with that, um, but I've been sort of like weird about pride because of my sexual orientation and I'm still trying to wrap my mind around it, I'm still trying to get used to it. And so that's what I'm going to talk about today. That's what I'm, I'm going to talk about what that's looked like in the past for me and what that looks like now. Um, brief, like a brief history, brief history, my brief, you know, brief history. Um, so I first uh, realized that, oh, okay. I first realized that I wasn't um, straight aligned with my gender at the time. Um, when I was in sixth grade, I developed feelings, I developed sexual feelings for a teacher of mine. Uh, and since I identified it as a girl at the time, I like was just petrified because I was like, I can't be having these feelings. This is not what I was taught. I was thought this was wrong. And I tried to pray the gay away and nothing was working. And it just like, I just couldn't, I didn't know how to shake out of it. And she wasn't the only woman I was attracted to, but she was like the main one. And that was the one that really, like she was like my sexual awakening um, in a person. Cause I have my sexual awakening movies, but that's not the point. Um, and so I denied that and I hid that uh, for about a year until I hit eighth grade. And then I sort of came out with it. And I told my best friend first and I told another friend of mine and I started to accept the fact that I was attracted to women. Um, and I came out as bisexual, uh, and then shortly after that I came out as pansexual, and I, not many people knew about it apparently, um, cause I came out to only a few friends of mine, and then I started dating somebody long distance, and when I was asked about it, I mentioned that I was dating a girl, and so I sort of came out with that. And then, um, I came out as a lesbian between that summer of 8th grade and ninth grade, and that's how I identified and I went into high school identifying as such. I was very, very out about it. It was one of the, <laughs> I was so young. It was one of the first things that I told everyone. Um, like, why do you need to tell that many people that? I don't know. And then I started exploring my feelings for men again. And then I was a homo romantic bisexual. And then at some point I was pansexual again. And so many different things and at some point I was like queer makes sense it just makes more sense it's just an umbrella term for everything and I came out as genderqueer um and so like I was I identified as queer because I you know I wasn't a girl and I didn't know how to like refer to myself although at some point I did identify as a genderqueer lesbian and that was because I not because I saw myself as a girl but because I society saw me as such and so I was like if I'm dating somebody who is female that's just what's gonna look like I actually don't understand my reasoning for it to this day um, but that's at the time it made sense so I'm gonna go with it that's what you know that's what I felt like at the time and I'm not that was where I was um, and then and then I was and then I came out as a guy and I came out as straight it's not really coming out as straight, I just I came out as a guy and I was straight. And I was very, very secure in being straight and I hated being referred to as queer, not because of... I mean, the reason why I hated it, because I, and I still don't like it, um, not that I don't like being referred to as queer, but I don't like my gender being referred to as that because I don't, like for me, queer has to do with sexual orientation and that and gender identity have nothing to do they, they don't work together. Like, I didn't transition because I was attracted to women. I transitioned because I never felt like a girl. And <clears throat> once I figured out that I felt like a guy and like things made sense, that's the reason why I transitioned. It had nothing to do with what I was attracted to. In fact, like my sexual orientation now is pretty, like would have confused anybody who was like, but you, 
must be straight. Because what most people assume is that I am straight. And so I was very secure in being straight and then I developed feelings for somebody who was non-binary and then I realized that I was attracted to people who were non-binary and so I came out as polysexual and then I started testosterone and all of a sudden now I'm now I'm pansexual and uh, it wasn't the testosterone that made me gay I think it's because I'm more comfortable in myself and I'm more comfortable with who I am like I there's things that I love about myself now like my little facial hair that's coming out like my voice and all these things that I'm getting more comfortable with and I'm starting to be noticed more like a guy in public and because of these comfort levels I think that's what opened me up to accepting that I might actually be attracted to men and I am attracted to men and I've you know I'm despite the fact that I've already started making moves on some or I you know I'm like sort of open with it I'm still getting used to it um, I'm at a point where I don't correct people if that's what if they assume I'm straight. I just have like, I don't know, like I, it's not that I'm ashamed of it, but I think part of me is because for so long it's just like, you know, I grew up with this idea that it's all wrong and everything that I'm doing is just wrong and every time I think about my future and like, even if my parents accepted I'm a guy, accepting that I, a queer guy would like, just not be okay and it's just something that I'm still trying to sit with. I'm trying to sit with the discomfort of it. It's important, you know. I want to not. I want to accept myself. I don't want to hate this aspect of me. Um, that's where I am at. And I really wanted to make this video to talk about it on my channel, but also to acknowledge it um, and to I guess, remind myself of it. I don't know, um, but to come out with it, and so it's something that I can talk about from here on, um, I can't think of anything else I want to say other than, like, that's where I'm at, I, and I guess in terms of topics for Pride, I, I went to Brooklyn Pride this year, like, the very end of it, um, I don't know why, it wasn't because I'm proud, I think it was because I just wanted to find someone, which didn't work because I'm still single, uh, not that you could find somebody, you know, it's not like, it's not like speed dating, um, but I'm not going to, I'm not, today's pride and I'm not there because I, well, one, for personal, like, I just don't, too much anxiety, I can't deal with that amount of, you know, that huge crowd, but also because I was given so much shit for going, or for, like, trying to go two years ago when I had to go because of work, not that I ever admitted that I was going there for work, but I had to go for work because that was the same day as pride, you know, I told my mom I was going somewhere else, and she noticed it was gay pride and she was just like you like, she gave me so much shit for it and I just gave up with even trying to go and so that's where I'm at today um, but yeah so that's so that's my that's my story really it's a really brief summarization of my story and my journey and I guess if I come up with something else to talk about in terms of that I can do that but um if you've watched up to here, thank you. Uh, subscribe, like, or comment. You can give an individual their wings. And if you subscribe, you can join my winged family. And who doesn't want to learn to fly? And until next video.